Hi! It's Wednesday, April 30th, and I finally did my CT scan to begin this radiation chapter. And my boyfriend tried to take my video while I was in the machine and stuff, like all like this, but it was kind of creepy him just like pulling out the phone when I'm totally exposed. So the guy was kind of like, no pictures, no pictures. So we're doing a post CT scan video. And what it was is that they're basically taking a 3D image of my anatomy so that they can figure out how much radiation and where they need to radiate, I guess. And so they placed me like this and I went into this giant tube <laughs> and I couldn't move. No, it was really not that bad. And then they made like three little markings which are tattooed. And then it's all I heard were numbers and numbers and numbers. I guess they took my measurements of where they're going to place my machine because as soon as they place me, that's how I'm going to be for five weeks. And I can't move. And they can't change anything. And we're in the way, so we're going to go this way. <laughs> they said that in 10 days or 14 days, they're going to call me for me to start treatment. So I guess I'm going to start my round one in like two weeks. So long, and everything keeps getting pushed and pushed. Summer is coming. I want to be in a bikini. I don't want to be in an x ray tube. Okay, I'll stop complaining. Okay. When you were inside, you said that it was super specific? It's super specific. What? When they treat you with radiation, yeah. they target the specific area down to the millimeter. What did you see? You were in the little room with them? Yeah, I saw the insides of you. You saw my insides? I saw your insides. <laughs> Explain that they're positioning you and you're going to have to remain in that same spot every single day for five weeks. And the machine's going to go around you mm -hmm. and give you the same dose every single day in that specific spot. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. I'm back for my second CT scan. I had to come back because apparently my chest wall is too close to my heart, so they need to do um, a different method to take my measurements, and it involves um, monitoring my breathing this time. So when I inhale, like my chest wall comes out, they put this block on me in the camera that like sees how fast I breathe, and when they do the radiation, I have to breathe in and then like hold in my breath for 30 seconds. Yeah. So I should be receiving my first treatment in about two weeks. So when you're doing radiation, they tell you that you need to get tattoos done. Yeah, tattoos, ink on your skin, it's permanent. And at first when they told me that, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm not ready for any tattoos. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. The reason why they do tattoos and radiation is so that there's, um, they need to mark you so that the radiation machine is um, as accurate as possible because when you come in for a long period of time, the machine has to be placed precisely to cater to what you need and it's important that they're as precise as possible. So if they mark you, then my wash my body and then some markers are just washed off easily then of course they have to retake the measurement every time and it's long and it's tedious so instead they mark you permanently with a tattoo this is what it looks like so this is on the front of my chest a little dot there and a little dot there that's it and then you got on the side they look like beauty marks one there. See, I can't even find where they are. Oh, those are my drain holes. One there, and... There you go. There, and there. I don't know, that might be a beauty mark. So those are my tattoos, guys. It's really not that bad. It's just a little dot, so... If you were like me, and you were like, Ah, no, no, I don't want tattoos then you got nothing to worry about because you can barely see them. That's it.